we're, uh, we're live, so I guess we're going to call the meeting to order. So um, on behalf of the town of Deerfield, I call this special town meeting to order. I've examined the voter sign-in and determined that a quorum of over 35 is present. Uh, I've also examined the return of the warrant and note that that is in order. And as you may be aware, there's only a single article before us this evening, so we'll give it all the attention it needs, but it should be a pretty quick meeting. Um, Again, just a brief overview. If you do wish to speak, if you just come to the center mic, um, they've turned it up as loud as it can possibly go. So if you just speak into it, uh, the people behind you will be able to hear. If you do come to the microphone, if you can just state your name, your street address, um, and, and proceed from there. Um, I think at this point, we'll just introduce the head table. I'm Dan Graves. I'm the town moderator. Carolyn Ness. Trevor McDaniel. Dave Wolfram. Diana Schindler. And with that, I'd make a single motion that the following people be allowed to address the audience during the town meeting. Uh, Brenda Hill and Diana Schindler. Second. Any questions on that? Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Mr. McDaniel? So, um, I move the town vote to appropriate and transfer from general stabilization the sum of $196,895 for the required cash match for the Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Round 4 grant award received by the town. Second. So, Mr. McDaniel, yeah, if you could briefly explain the motion. Sure. So um, Deerfield has been very fortunate to have um, to have been awarded, this is our fourth uh, round of uh, MVP grant, which is the Municipal uh, Vulnerability Preparedness grants that the town, are, um, that the state governor puts together. Um, we're hoping eventually there'll be a, a constant stream of funding for this kind of program, but it's a, a way to kind of look at our culverts, any kind of areas in town that we need to, um, we need to shore up or that are deficient. Um, you know, with, with climate change coming, which storms are bigger, stronger, uh, more frequent, um, you know, more of a deluge when they come. Our culverts are in really tough shape around, around the area. We don't only use it for culverts. We use it for any, anywhere that we can kind of um, uh, rain gardens, different things where we can kind of keep the water and pump it back into the ground instead of having it run off into our streams and into the rivers and all. So, um, so this grant, um, is paying for a, a, a large portion of this is our match that we're asking for tonight out of general stabilization is to uh, fund the culvert replacement at Kelleher Drive. Um, that Kevin was doing a study with um, a class with a lot of people just kind of looking at culverts and how you assess and everything and they so they picked Kelleher Drive and lo and behold that one's in really bad shape and um, it's tough because there's no other way in and out so um, we, our ground three of the grant paid for um, the engineering, which is another wonderful thing about this grant. Most grants you don't get um, funding from the um, and permitting. And permitting from the uh, from the grant itself. You usually have to come up with that on your own. But round three paid for the permitting and the and the uh, design work. Um, this amount of money will will pay the next match will will help pay for the for the construction replacement of that culvert. We've done one on, uh, we're hopefully, the bid was, I think, awarded, or we just got bids in for Mill Village Road, which is up near the soccer fields at DA. Um, Chris Curtis has been working with us a lot on this program, kind of, we, we've been doing meetings to study what are the deficiencies, what do we want to tackle, and, um, and then writing the grants. Everybody's working really hard writing these grants, and we've been really fortunate. We, I think we're the first in the state to be awarded. Sure. You know, that we complied with a plan, and we've been updating that plan, and now, um, we're reaping the benefits of that, which is really great. 75% matched by the state is really, really great when it comes to grants. So, um, oh, just uh, Carolyn wanted to point out, just over those four, um, four rounds, um, we've had $1,111,141 of state money coming to our town to fix this stuff. You know, we've had to match some of that, but that's all state money coming to repair and address some of these things. So it's really great when we can, when we can bring, bring money back to town. Thank you. Finance committee, did you meet on this? The finance committee recommends this article. Are there any questions or comments? Thanks, I apologize for the shorts for you that know me. My name is John Pachork, I'm the Chief of Police in Deerfield. But I want to step aside from my professional role for a second. I want to talk as a citizen. 
I want to thank the two masterminds behind this. One I want to stand up, Chris Curtis, so you guys can see him. The amazing grant writer, but... Governor's office in Boston, Carolyn Shores Ness. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I support this, so thanks so much. <laughs> Any other comments? Do you want to raise so you can get long pants? <laughs> <laughs> we have a comment here. Please. You can just sneak over to the microphone and sure. Uh, Chris Curtis, uh, South Mill River Road. On February 29th, um, as part of this whole project, we are doing a townwide uh, forum on climate change uh, here at Town Hall, or rather at Frontier High School, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, it's a day-long forum, and we would like to encourage everybody to come to that. There's going to be a whole series of workshops on a variety of topics about uh, climate change and how you can play a role for the community in trying to support um, efforts to reduce our carbon footprint and to make the town more resilient to climate change. And uh, I think there'll be a lot of opportunities for people to learn things, and there's also a gourmet free lunch that will be provided. So. <laughs> I hope you all come. Please sign up in advance so we know how many people are coming. Thanks. Thank you very much Thank for you. mentioning that. Yes, sir. Up to the microphone. Good evening. Uh, my name is John Reno. I live at 8 Kelleher Drive. I've been there since 1971. Uh, we definitely do need a new culvert. The road is starting to sink in. The town has had to put tar in the, in the holes because they were getting too deep. Uh, the brook needs to be cleaned out very badly. Mm -hmm. I've been after uh, that uh, for years. Uh, there are trees across it. There's blockage everywhere. It's, it's a mess. It really needs to be cleaned out. And it used to be done quite often. Now it hasn't been done in many, many years. Uh, the other issue is about three or four years ago, I had some of the town fathers look at my driveway. <clears throat> the town put in a new road over the existing road, even though they tore it up, but it ended up being higher than the original road. As a result, some of us have driveway problems. Mm -hmm. You can see me out there in the winter because the driveway floods, and I have to go out and chip ice so we're able to walk mm -hmm. into the house. Uh, it floods every time it rains, practically. It needs to be hooked up to the storm drain, and, and that has never been done, but that, that would solve the problem. Uh, other than that, I've said my piece. I think we definitely do need this project. I hope that uh, we get the backing from the state. I wonder how the transportation will be back and forth if it's under construction. Yes. Uh, we may be parking at the high school or something. <laughs> okay, thank you very yes. much. Thank, thank you. you. Any other comments or questions? Yes. Um, I just want to make a comment that we did get the grant. It, it, we weren't allowed, it was embargoed, we weren't allowed to say that we had the grant, and then Trevor and I were in Boston, they said, oh, you can say that you have the grant, but you just can't put out a press release yet. So we can say tonight that we got the grant. We have to sign the contract by Friday, so <laughs> it has to be in their office by Friday. So we will sign it tonight, hopefully after the vote. We'll call the vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries by two-thirds. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking the effort to come out, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. Motion to adjourn? Uh, I am going to, make, going to make a motion to dissolve. Is there a second? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you. Really appreciate you taking the time. Record time, 10 minutes.